Now a Japanese firm is combining people's love of both electric bikes and smartphones to try to catch up. NHK World's Takafumi Terui has the details. Our motivation is to develop a motorbike that exists nowhere else in the world. A Japanese venture firm introduced its latest electric motorcycle on Wednesday. Like so many other things these days, this motorcycle can interact with a smartphone. So owners can link up with the bike to find out whether it's charged up and to check how much energy it's using and to see all kinds of statistics on their ride. The venture firm engineers are developing a variety of applications with the cooperation of other companies. They say these navigation systems and other applications not only provide information to drivers, but collect their data as well through cloud computing. They think the data can be used for urban planning, reducing congestion, and other purposes such as targeted advertising. The venture firm has its eye on Southeastern Asian countries and India. The fast-growing economies there are enabling more people to buy motorbikes. The executives of the company say concerns over air pollution and rising fuel prices will help the growth of electric vehicles. Chinese bikes now dominate the market. They are cheap but are said to be low quality. So the Japanese firm plans to differentiate its product from its Chinese competitors using its high technology and stylish design as selling points. But the hurdle is the price. It sells the initial model at around $4,500. The highest price in India is $1,000 to $1,500. So the cost difference is much, but let's see how it was. We need to make an effort to offer products at a reasonable price eventually. We aim to release a model that is affordable to the majority of people in emerging countries in a couple of years. The executives expect the new model to make inroads into emerging economies. They want to appeal to customers that when it comes to the latest technology, Japanese products once again, lead the way.